we already know what are the steps are need to be taken for different housekeeping operations of the library so this is basically automation of the library now process you know we need to have one kind of tool through which we can do library automation and the tool here nothing is a software it's a kind of programming which will do repetitive job when we applying those uh, logical concept into the computer then it's become the automations of that particular thing and when we are applying the computer into the different housekeeping operations of the library then it's become library automation so computerization computerization of library and automation of library is as a similar word similar terminology there is nothing different between that now library automation is completely dedicated to the housekeeping operations of the library and there are many facets within this operations so let's have a look which is the main requirement for the library automation that basically normally is called um, throughout the world this library automation software is called library management system so th there is no difference between the library automation software and library automation library management system management system means it's a automation now uh, there are two concepts in that one is single functions and integrated what the, what does mean by single functions means when a particular housekeeping operation done by one uh, particular programming suppose uh, we are doing cataloging only so that is a single function we are doing the acquisition only that's a single function we are doing only opac only that's a single function now when it is come all together acquisition cataloging uh, then mm, uh, circulation then opac so all together when it's called it's it's called integrated library automation system yeah library library management system so integrations of many functions all together it's called integration of library management system now uh, there is a big need of in, uh, integrations because without integrations uh, you cannot uh, go forward right so uh, a library with the integrated library system is almost like that you have a acquisition system you have a circulation system you have a cataloging system you have a reference and this is file server and this is a serial management system also and this is opac so this is one one software one server or one particular software is here and you are doing so many job reference it's completely different from cataloging you are doing reference over here cataloging is different from circulation you are doing cataloging here acquisition circulation is different from acquisition there is no relation direct relation unless you catalog suppose you in acquisition you are taking one particular document unless you catalog it it cannot go for the circulation so all are linked together here if you have a if you do not have acquisitions and if you do not have cataloging you cannot create a serial management concept and these are normally connected to the local area network in the library and opac this is done this particular area is normally done by the library staff and opac is a completely user interface here user will come and they will search the book that's it search the book or other document so this is all about your library automation now if we look at any library automation software throughout the world um it has its uh, concept concept means it has some basic features like functional in functional model you will see a cataloging opac and circulation add on add on uh, features acquisition serial control interlibrary loan web opac you require the operating system unless you do have operating system you cannot run the library automation software then you need a database management system oracle informix ms sql ms access these are the database management system then you need a network architecture client server architecture that use tcp ip ip to communicate across the network then user you need a proper user interface 
It should be a graphical user interface. Otherwise, it's very difficult. Then, at the end of the all those things, you require a standard, library automation standard, library industry standard, uh, such as MARC or Z39.50. These are the standard protocol for the data exchange, right? Or data integrity. So these are the silent feature of a uh, of a library um, management system. Now, in cataloging module, normally, uh, what we normally do, we are we are doing um, we are create data, we store it, we retrieve, we manage bibliographical record, defines the record format used in the database and the provides for the authority control, authority um, uh, control of author, subject heading. Even sometimes you have seen uh, the 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 call number also can be done in the cataloging model. Usually there are two different interfaces such as retrieval of the electronics catalog for catalog that allow them to maintain the library database for user that allow them to such display the result on OPAC, online public access catalog. That's why it's called public. The OPAC uh, has a different kind of feature right uh, today. Mm, uh, it has uh, a, in many library you will find the OPAC there is a one computer uh, or many computer which you can access the number of books available in the library uh, or you can search the bibliographical data uh, not only the book you can you can search the serial holding of a particular library but on the other hand today's date you will find the wave pack wave pack means wherever you are suppose you are at home you are also searching books of delhi university or other university library so that is possible and this is when it is possible when you have a public ip suppose public ip and who are going to give you the public ip it is the mtnl or bsnl they are providing public ip public ip right uh, so with public ip you have to put uh, that particular ip you have to um, in build in your server through that uh, people can able to access your uh, opac from outside the campus because in campus you have a lan local area network but outside you you have internet connectivity through that, that internet connectivity one can search the web opac of a particular library now, uh, it has already been done uh, in many is a way. Uh, so it has its own feature also. You can reserve um, the books. You can you, you can see how many books available do. And here you can see, this is web pack, then PC connected with the internet. This is a web server, and this is bibliographical databases. And this is LAN. This is web pack, uh, bibliographical databases accessible through web server basically right so this is the way that has been connected now this is um, ALIS um, uh, library to management e-content modules you will see that uh, you this is user interface it is functional model this is data storage sometimes it is a federate, federation of search federation of search is integrated with the it it can be search your catalog of uh, books and serial and uh, open uh, URL link, electronics resource management, that uh, three of four, basically the book, the serial, the open URL link, the electronics management system, all together when you are searching through one particular interface that is basically called Federate search, federation of search, because this is a federation, it's a combined search of a, so many data over there. So this is open URL linking and electronics resource management system, right? Suppose you are searching one particular subject. Uh, suppose you are searching digital library from your federated search module. That that will show you some books, some serial, some open uh, URL link, and the electronics resources available in your library. So this is the way federation of search can be integrated. Now in library automation, the two basic concepts, it's a backend and frontend. Frontend is basically programming language and backend is database management. I have 
told already probably that um, this this programming language is changing several times because whenever a new programming language is coming up uh, that that can be done in different way but i will tell you the basic logic basic concept is always the same but in database management system is not almost changed right it is some um, some some base database management system available and you are not having every day that as as the programming language is coming up you, you cannot find so much of variety in the database management system you need to hold with the which one is the best now dr ef code has given some 13 rules on uh, how a relational database management system good for the application and he has uh, initiated the idea the foundation rules the information rule the guaranteed access rule dynamic catalog rules comprehensive data sub language rules view updating rules high level language rules physical data independent rules logical data independent rules integrity independent rules distribution independent rules and non subversion rules these are the basic rules and if you today if you go for the evaluating the all database management system that you will find hardly any data relational database management system or back end system of a system or a software uh, nobody is fulfilling the 13 rules somebody 11 somebody 10 somebody 9 oracle 11 cybers 10 uh, sql 9 ms access 7 this is the way they have covered up but it doesn't means doesn't means that it will be inefficient uh, the database management system. It could be um, uh, it, uh, the choosing of database management again depend on the depend upon the application, right? So these are the rules and 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 their activity and the explanation how they can uh, they can be implemented into the uh, database management system. Rules one, rule two, rule three, and this one, right? So non subversion rules like that. Now coming to the database management system, these are the database management system, Oracle RDBMS, IBM DB2, AltaVest, Base, uh, AltiBase, Microsoft SQL Server, SAP Sybase, A AAC, Terra Data, ADA, BAS, MySQL. These are the database management system. FileMaker, Microsoft Access, Informix. Look at that database management system, Informix. In 1990s, probably the most popular database management software, software for the library was Informix. Then SQLite, PostgreSQL, SQL, Amazon RDA, Mango DB, Redis, Kutch DB, Neo4j. These are the database management system. Besides this, Orient DB, Kutch Base, Toward, PHP My Admin, SQL Developer, SQL PRO. Rambo Monogo, uh, VB Visualizer. Uh, these are the uh, Informix Dynamic Server. These are the added on features of a database. Now, coming to the uh, different key feature of a library automation system is any library automation software must have this feature. If do not have this feature, then that library automation software, software is not up to the mark. Here you can see the acquisition management, barcode management, catalog, sorry, acquisition management, then cataloging management, barcode management, search facility, online access, inventory, pattern management, subscription management, and reports. If those features are not into the library automation software, then the software is not up to the mark, right? Now, if you look at the different library automation software, I think in your book, there are several softwares they have uh, they, they, they told you and um, they have described. But here I will, we'll see the open access library automation software. These are the eight open access library automation software. But uh, fortunately, what happened in India, Koha become so popular that everybody gone uh, 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 out of the light, they are in a back state. So uh, they are also very good software and uh, uh, Koha get a little more focus. That's why it's happened. If you look at the diff different features of Evergreen, it's uh, finer software. Biblot, take 
Open Biblio, uh, Invenio, PMB, Oplast, New Gen Leap. These are the very good software open access. So you can download all the software in your computer and you can access, you can work on that. Uh, at least you can see how those uh, library automation softwares are. Now this is Poha. We already know this is the Linux based software and you need to have a Linux operating system, then it will work. Then it's evergreen. Evergreen, probably it's, it's based on the um, both in Linux and uh, Windows. It is also one of the, it has its almost all features. If you look at the start circulation, cataloging, acquisitions, booking, administrations, every year there. Even uh, in Koha, you have uh, ample features, but evergreen has also a better feature. Then if you bibliotheque, this is also one of the good library automation software. It, it has it almost all features. Even it has a kind of book wizard kind of thing. That means, suppose you are searching, even that is also possible in Koha, uh, searching a book. Uh, you can see their um, cover page of, of the book. That can be downloaded from any other, uh, any other uh, open source. Uh, uh, resources. Now, coming to that, this is my library database management, Open Biblio. Basically, in Open Biblio, it has its own feature, and uh, it, it has um, all the serial control, management, reports, circulation can be possible through this um, Open Biblio software. Then, in Benio, software is also one of the good software, but it has not been used so. Uh, nicely everywhere. Uh, probably it could be based on uh, different op operating system or something like that. It has not reached up to the in Asian countries specifically. The PNB also one of the good software. It has its cat circulation. It has its cataloging. Then is uh, you can you, you can create reports. Uh, it has its OPAC. These all facilities are available in. PMB software. Then OPLAS has also a very good software. It has its cataloging, it has its OPAC, it has its circulation system, inventory control is there, report and utilities is there, then um, subscription management for the serial controlling system is there, union catalog, even interlibrary loan, which is available in many softwares in Souls, in Koha, this is there. Uh, here, but here, here, the most best feature of the OPLAS is you can you can manage your equipment and asset of the library. It has also a textbook. Then the most important aspect is ebook management, which is missing in many library automation software, especially open source. Then you can streaming video. You can if you download a video, suppose you you have catalog one particular. Uh, movie or video into the uh, into the library database through OPAC you can search it you can you can see that can be possible besides this it has its digital archive management but unfortunately it has not become so popular I do not know why right probably it's got out of the market then new gen leaf new gen leaf is one of the good software it is very good software and people it has its many, many features. It has a digital, um, uh, digital material control is available here. You can manage the digital resource also besides the normal cataloging and circulation and other things. So these these are the uh, features which is available in the new gen. So these are the softwares basically. Then. Credo Reach is another library management software, but probably it has um, it has its um, uh, masters and um, book uh, issue return can be possible. We big report can be uh, can be taken taken out. So the, the, these features are not really available, but it is not so much a popular in Indian market. Then another CR2 technologies has also they have their uh, software. Um, uh, Wavopac, they are doing through Wavopac V2, uh, they are using on that. Now, look at the 
Indian scenario in the library automation. If you look at the Indian scenario, you will find we have initially started in 1990s the micro CDSS ISS, the original main menu of the software. Suppose here you can see the C change database, C language change dialogue language, E data entry services, ACE information retrieval services, P printing and charting and printing services, I inverted file services, D defini database definition service, M master file service, U system utility service, A advanced programming service, X exit. Now here you will see if you press D when you are creating a one particular database, so you have to press D. After D you have a fourth step, right? When you are going to create databases. After databases, you can create input the data through E. When you press E, press E, the database will open up and you can input the data over there. Then after inputting the data, you can search through S information retrieval service. You have to press, uh, press S button in your keyboard and you can able to search. You can you can input the search term and it will come up. And through this, uh, after this software in, in India, Sanjay has came. Sanjay is based on that particular uh, CDS ISS software. Then coming to the OPAC, um, um, Sol, Sol software has done by the Implibinet. It's a university library software. It has, we learned this software within this course model. And this is one of the finest software because it has the full support of the government of India and, uh, and uh, Infilibinet has carried out many research R&D on that. And uh, probably if you compare this software with any commercial software available in India, which is the most cheapest software with the full, fullest of features. It has its all features, uh, which uh, more than, even more than, uh, more than um, all features, which normally carried out by the other commercial software, right? So Sol will learn, and it is one of the finest software indeed. Then Lipsys um, has created it in, in India, and it has run so many of years. It has uh, served Indian library very well, uh, good software, uh, but uh, there are problems with that software is that um, it charges a lot. Second thing, if we go for the data exchange, suppose you are going to convert your database from Lipsys to other software, then again for data they usually charge. So for the software is good, all features are there, web-based software, but uh, something which uh, we need to take care of that. Before purchasing, we need to be little cautious. Then coming to the other library management softwares like Prudon or kind of thing, this is also a very good software. Uh, there are many softwares running in University of uh, Delhi also. Then Book Bookcell Plus is another library management software which is also available in Indian market, but it is not so much a popular. It has its all feature, uh, but if, I do not know this software has the feature of electronic resource management or kind of uh, video streaming system is there or not, uh, so there is a question. Now, third library management software is there, but it has missed some, uh, some features of uh, basic uh, library automation software. Now, this is a GeoCreate library automation software. This is another software made um, in-house. And you will see there are many, many features are there here. Entries, periodical search, circulation reports can be done through that particular software. It has not so much of popular, but here some, some places this is also running, but it has covered almost all part of the library automation. Then coming to the softening, softening Asia is uh, another library automation agencies which is uh, which are providing library automation throughout Asia and uh, probably they have new software called Liberty. Liberty is a good software and uh, it has its all features. Besides this you can see the Truden software, Truden, yes it is also true Truden software which is available in, in our university library system. It's a very good software, it's working nicely from last 10 years, more than 10 years and it has its all feature, but uh, somewhere it is lacking, it do not have the electronics resource management system. 
electronics resource management system even it do not have the feature of uh, video streaming right so these are the drawback of that particular software now this is egranthala egranthala is one of the finest software very good software you know, devised by our nic team in indian indian to the indian government it has its acquisitions cataloging circulation news clip macro uh, micro docs and serial and um, this is basically reports of such you know, opac so this is e granthala and e granthala has a you know, very good software and a very good support service service from that particular team and the most important part of that this is another most cheapest software in indian continent and as it is subsidized by the government of india right it has its union catalog also it has its serial control you can create article indexing within that software so almost all features now coming to the different silent feature of a modern library automation system that if you come if you if you evaluate all the software based on the net 2.0 frame every software should have the net 2.0 framework then visual statistical representation using graphic card uh, suppose i wanted to know how many books being issued by uh, by different subject it should give you uh, oh my god what is the time no i have a time uh, so visual statistic representation using graphic chart then rfid um, uh, uh, yes visual in through visual statistic what we will do uh, we can if we want to see how many books being issued by a particular subject they, that software should have visual visually represent the data then if you wanted to do the rfid system with the uh, so any software from the list we have already discussed that software must have nc 2.0 http server otherwise you cannot um, accommodate rfid then it should have a 39.z39.50 uh, for import of the library database then mark 21 for the export and import then auto schedule task email database and maintenance etc new uh, flavor of library and with tape library model database broadcaster manage complete so these are the feature um, user these are the basically you need to have a uh, software which has which has which has um, this kind of feature unless the software is not up to the mark and it should be a ms office compatible right otherwise there are many things you cannot do if you look at the different how many people are using the different software if you see there are more than 2000 library are using in house software they develop their self libsys is almost more than 2000 libraries alice window or liberty has more than 500 right now libraries sol 3000 libraries clean 50 libraries koha uh, almost um, 2000 libraries yes e granthala 2000 3200 200 libraries vtls 10 libraries vtls is one of the most costliest software in the world right and your rajender sir matlab our aswal sir previously worked with the vtls right so it has its stain library jnu library has a vtls software other other soft software which has there are another 100 libraries or more than if you if you if you compare the open library automation softwares um, uh, and how they are working what are the features is missing somewhere if you see the koha koha has no digital management system evergreen has all the features acquisition serial management digital asset management everything in bibliotech it has no digital management no opac no acquisitions if you open biblio it has no acquisition no serial management and invenio has everything pmp has everything opals has no acquisition no serial management new genlib has all the features. so before thinking of taking any kind of 
library automation software open source you know, in which language it has been written this is perl this is c perl and this is poster sql sql lite open video php in venio python javascript pmp php perl java i will tell you suppose ever evergreen has written in c language if it is bist the perl then it it is very difficult to take it into the web based version but if you have a perl php python so it is very much even java it is very much comfortable for the for the for the for the web based information uh, web based uh, library automation software even you can you can if it is perl php or python and so these softwares can be accessed through your mobile phone also so that's the best part of that right so new gen lab don't have the digital so how many have digital asset, asset management opals pmp invenio and open bibli and evergreen also the so oh, probably evergreen has all the features invenio has all the features pmp has all the features right so out of eight we have one two three three library automation software has all the feature not in new genly right so even koa has missed missed something no so this is the library automation now today's date the library automation software is coming with the cloud computing system so many of the many of the library automation software vendor are coming to to us and they are asking that you need not to uh, create server we'll create server and everything we'll keep our data with us and you will only you only access and per access you have to give us a money right so we are that problem is that then you need to have a concrete internet connectivity if you do not have a concrete internet connectivity you cannot cannot go for the cloud computing but what is the best part is that you do not have to maintain the server the when where from you are asking for the like you know, so, uh, the asking for the software they they will maintain your server and data and everything you have to pay the thing so uh, what what is the best part is that it will be platform neutrality means if you are using through your tab that can be possible you need not to purchase a computer for that but recurringly you have to pay the money and it has its because for for uh, coming generation you have to have move for the cloud computing because you, cloud computing they they keep your data and server very costly and mm, very in a distributed system this is basically a concept of cloud computing and if you look at the projected cloud computing estimates it's, it's obviously it will be very high uh, in indian and if you see throughout the world if you see university of washington chicago california cornell university massachusetts um carnegie mellon university delhi government school libraries is also running with the cloud computing library automation system library management system it has facility you can able to access from home anywhere you are so you can manage your data you can create more reference service to that so it is almost a cloud computing the advantage is unified search, search search service model integrated consultancy service model real time access service model knowledge service model all oriented service model so library 2.0 it will cover up if you go for the cloud computing then you you able to and meet the library 2.0 because we are almost become librarian to librarian because anywhere you will work uh, today's generation is different we have changed ourselves from mp3 to ipad britannica online to wikipedia personal website from blogs and w- wikipedia as going in a very bad time right now they are asking money for everybody donations otherwise they may not exist then directories has tags speaking is syndication blogs user comment wikis user rating rss feed community citation feed mm, feed aggregator and user tagging is community photo service 
key flux nomic uh, community book service type cast now the shared picture becomes clicker shared video youtube shared news d itunes shared knowledge is wikipedia shared bookmark dell icio us social bookmarking shared project in google doc shared you facebook and smiles we are doing shared library library things shared virtual life second life because today's generation this is a 21st century user so they are using these these are the technology along with them so looking forward their usability and their habit of uh, information seeking behavior we can move from different kind of thing so almost changed but we have change our catalog from uh, this tagging concept right so it has changed so i think this library automations and other new technology will e evolve to a new future generations library thank you so much